The rumour is that they have imported 250 or so Komodo dragons from Lumpini Park to kickstart some kind of food chain. I'm about to visit the brand new Central Forest Park. I've been promised something quite amazing, so hang around for that. First, I just thought I'd give you a quick heads up. If you're looking to find the entrance to this park and you're using Google Maps that are attached to news articles or YouTube videos, they give you the impression you can cut through into the new park from the middle of the existing Benjikiti Park, but that's not true. You've got to go down the right-hand side of the existing park ask one of the security guys where the new park is and you'll find it. You'll find this entrance. So uh, we've got about 20 minutes before the sun sets, so let's get uh, cracking. So my first impressions, it looks and feels like a park that's been hurriedly constructed on land that wasn't originally green space. Do you know what I mean? Like in London, you have parks that have been established for a couple of centuries and they've grown into a park with their environment. And I suppose this will do that because a lot of the trees are, are new. So uh, give it a hundred years and come back and you'll see a proper forest park. Um, nothing really negative about it. It smells like fresh concrete, but again, you know, it's a great space. Bangkok needs green space. Well, this fantastic thing that was promised has turned into a bit of an anticlimax because me, along with a lot of other people, had our cameras pointed towards the setting sun about 20 minutes ago and then all of a sudden these artificial floodlights have come on, so uh, it's a bit, bit annoying really. Once darkness kicks in, the skywalk is great. There's hardly anyone on it, and you can get lots of different views from around the park. I know I was complaining earlier about this sunset, but uh, that's why I came really, and that was what the fantastic thing was that I promised you at the beginning of the video, but never mind. I'm gonna have a walk in the wilderness now, at ground level, and see what kind of wildlife is lurking. So this expanse of land all around us was part of the old Thailand tobacco monopoly complex and about a year ago I was reading about the construction of this park and someone said that this is where they grew all their tobacco as well and I wasn't aware of that. Anyway I did do some proper research this time and I found a load of old photos of how this place used to look back in the day. If you do come to this skywalk for a stroll, please bear in mind that the only way on and off is at either end. There's no steps or ladders along the way. And I want to get down to ground level. I can't jump because it's too high. So to scout out a bit of wildlife, I've got to walk to the end and all the way round. So uh, good to remember.
Well, this is more like it. A bit of swamp action. And I don't know why I'm walking like this. Anyway, the rumor is that they have imported 250 or so Komodo dragons from Lumpini Park to kickstart some kind of food chain in this park. I haven't seen any. One thing a bit disappointing is the lack of cats in this park thus far because it is quite new so uh, you can understand that and if a cat does arrive in this park and think well if I'm going to colonize this place it's got to be something in it for me just like Lumpini Park. Anyway I've got to get going security blowing whistles so uh, until the next video I'll see you soon.